today I'm going to be showing you how to get Hypercam 2 into HD and I'm going to show you how also how to get rid of the unregistered Hypercam 2 box in the top left of any video record with an unregistered Hypercam. Alright, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hyper, open Hypercam 2. Right, you're going to want to go to AVI file and look at video compressor. You need to select XVID MPEG4 codec as mine it already is but you may not have it don't worry you can download this in the K-Lite codec pack and I'll make another video on that and that will also include how to play a DVD in Windows Media Player okay so once you're done click XVID MPEG4 codec that's so right now click configure this compressor click it and right where it says profile at level you either want DivX HD TV DivX 1080 HD or XVID HD TV Mine is DivX HD TV because that works best on my computer. For different people, this will be different, and you might want to try each one to see which one you get the best quality out of. For me, it's DivX HD TV. Right, okay, so once you're done with that, you want to go to Target Quantizer. You want 1.00 for the best quality. As you can see, it goes up and down when you move this little cursor button. Right, now you're done with that, click OK. Right now, if you're recording your screen, you want it at 10, as so. But for other things, you may want it higher, such as like 90, like mine was before. Now, for me, it helps if you uh, have a keyframe. If you don't have a keyframe altogether, or the frame compression quality is zero. This, the reason I have it as zero for both these is because for me, it stops it lagging. So I prefer to have it not lagging than just jumping and lagging. And yeah, the cursor slash full frame rate capture ratio doesn't really matter to be honest. You can do whatever you want with that. Right now, for sound, you can just record whatever you want, like out of a microphone, the uh, speakers, however you want. Use use stereo, and the sample size is 16 bit, and you can for the sample range just use anything. Right, okay. Now you've got your HD set up. You just need to get a screen area that is HD. The ones you can have is 1920 or by, or by 1080. You can divide that by however many you want as long as uh, it is like the same amount in a way. Also, what you can do, you can also have it uh, 1280 by 720, that will also be HD. Again, you can divide it. Yeah. Right, now, with to get the unregistered Hypercam 2 part out of your top left uh, corner of the video, go to License, and there should be a button somewhere around here that says Add License or something like that. Now, this license will be in the video description and as you can see it, it never expires which is fine so yeah that will be in the video description thanks for watching have a good day please subscribe rate please comment rate and subscribe